You've heard all about it. It's all over social media, TV, Stanley Cups and lead. Truth is, there is lead on the Stanley Cup, not in the Stanley Cup. So let me show you where. It's on the bottom of the cup. When you flip it over, you see the logo button. And under that button is a lead piece, and it's called a ceiling dot. Using XRF technology, we discovered that the exposed ceiling dot on the bottom of the Stanley tumblers was positive for a very high level of lead. Underneath that is a primarily leaded material. Countless consumers have contacted us and let us know that their little button of stainless steel with the logo has fallen off and that they were not aware that there was basically um, a hunk of bioavailable lead. Stanley's website discloses that its sealing material does include some lead. On its website, Stanley tells its customers to rest assured that no lead is present on the surface of any Stanley product that comes into contact with the consumer nor the contents of the product. Here's what you need to do. If you own a Stanley quencher and the button on the bottom falls off, you need to stop using it and contact the company for replacement. The company offers a lifetime warranty. I have to tell you, it is worth noting that Stanley is not alone in this kind of lead under the button design. Similarly designed flasks and tumblers are all manufactured the same way.